So another question I get a lot is what was it like to launch on the space shuttle? What was it like when those engines lit up and you got thrown off the, off the face of the Earth? Well, it was, pretty, it was a, a heck of a ride. And it starts out, you wake up in the morning, you get dressed, you put your spacesuit on, you have a cake, that's a tradition, uh, and you get into this big Airstream motorhome that takes you to the launch pad, and when you get there, you step outside and it's just you, your crew members, and a couple brave individuals that are about to strap you into the rocket. Every other person, every sane person, is at least five miles away <laughs> from this thing. Because she is full of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. She's like a giant bomb ready to go off with all that energy. And she's hissing and, and making noises and creaking and all the machinery is turning and she's venting and, and it's like almost like a, a living creature. And you stand there at the base of this thing and you're tiny standing at the base of uh, the launch pad, looking up hundreds of feet up in the air at this massive rocket that's about to blast you off the planet. It's just like something out of science fiction. So I'm gonna tell you some inside baseball here. People think that you listen and wait for the countdown, you know, the countdown, the 10, nine, eight, right, that whole thing. You actually don't hear that inside the space shuttle. Instead, you hear a bunch of things happening that go in a certain cadence that's kind of like a countdown. You hear things like nav and nit, which means that the navigation systems have come alive. And then you see, then you hear them say 102, 102, which means that the computers have moded to the launch uh, state of the computer system. And then you hear three at 104, which means that all the engines are coming up to 104% to of power. Don't ask why they go over 100%, that's a long story. So you hear these things, you navigate 102, 102, 3 at 100, 3 at 104, and it's kind of like a countdown, but you don't hear the 10, 9, 8. That's just for everybody watching on TV. So then the engines light up. And at first, these three engines in the back of the space shuttle light up, and the space shuttle is still being held down to the launch pad by eight bolts, four on each of those big white solid rockets on the side. And then about two seconds later, what happens is when those engines in the back of the shuttle light, the whole space shuttle stack leans forward because those engines are on the back here. And then it comes back. And right when it was standing straight up again, boom, the solids light up. And then you're going somewhere in a hurry. And there's no shutting those things down. Once they're lit, they are lit. Now, it makes a lot of noise. It shakes a lot. But it's not crazy. How many of you have been on a, a motion simulator or some kind of a, yeah, or even like a Disney World or something like that? It's kind of like that. It shakes a lot, it makes a lot of noise, but it's not so crazy. What's unusual are the G-forces that you feel. The shuttle pulls up to three Gs, which means it feels like you weigh three times as much as you really do, or like you have two of you lying on top of your chest. And that's a little bit uncomfortable. In fact, it makes breathing hard. Breathing is no longer automatic. You have to think about it and like command your muscles to work your lungs. But you figure it out really quickly because that survival instinct, man, that's it's strong. <laughs> In the shuttle, you're feeling three Gs, but it goes on and on. It's sustained. About a minute goes by and you're still feeling those three Gs. And you're a rocket scientist. You had a great physics teacher in high school. You're doing the calculus, you're working the integration in your head and you're doing the equations and you figure out after about a minute of that that that's force equals mass times acceleration. The, the G's you're feeling are the thrust of the engines you're speeding up and you do that calculation and you say to yourself, I'm going crazy fast. <laughs> and sure enough, you go from zero miles an hour on a launch pad to 17,500 miles an hour up in space. There's no other acceleration like that. That is unique. And then what happens when you're going 17,500 miles an hour, the engine shut off and instantaneously, you go from three Gs to zero. And what it feels like is that you're being catapulted out of your seat. You put your arms up like this because you're scared you're gonna be squished like a bug on the bulkhead that's in front of you. And then almost immediately you feel really silly. 
because you're not being shot out of your seat, you're just no longer being held down in your seat. And all the veteran astronauts are pointing at you and laughing. <laughs> like, look at the new guy with the arms up, ain't that cute? And you're like, yeah, yeah. I knew that was gonna happen, yeah. And then you're up in space and everything's floating and there you are in zero gravity. It's amazing. 